Kazi yangu mkulima. Umeolewa? Mm. Tuchite. Nalima kwa ajili ya kula tu. Mpunga, mboga mboga. Mboga mboga mitungule. Mpunga au la la nini? La mboga mboga. La mboga ni kiasi gani? La mboga kama nusu weka. Mpunga na weka moja. Labda mimi ni mitungule ndo nauza. Kazi yangu ni kilimo. Ndiyo nimeoa. tatu. Muhogo, mpunga na ndizi na nyanya. Wanakwenda shambani baadhi ya siku kama siku ya Jumapili. Mapumziko. Wakati huo ndio chetu ndio naomba sana tusaidie kuhusu haya matatizo ya mnyauko. Ulokuwemo katika mazao yote yani tomato na pilipili. Alafu tukisaidiwa hii mipira zaidi ya drip na hii sitazidi kuenda vizuri zaidi. Tatizo jingine ilikuwa kama tatizo langu la pili wakati wa kilimo ile yani nakuwa tunaumia sana kwa kiangazi na kwa mara nyingi maji yanakuwa mahafifu. There is a lot of vegetable production here in Zanzibar. The potential is much greater than actual productivity between water availability and pests and diseases, they're probably the two main reasons for lack of productivity of vegetables. And drip irrigation has been introduced and it's a great uh, innovation in many respects. Small tubes of plastic are laid along the crop line and small holes in that plastic will allow water to come out on a drip basis. And it enables the water that is there to be targeted to the, to the crop itself. Hii sasa ndo na nimeanza kutumia. Ile nasaidia kidogo. Another additional problem for the farmers is the the lack of knowledge or understanding of the pests and diseases. Diseases. Kama mkulima matatizo yangu na kuwa gasa wadudu haribifu wa mimea. Katika tomato. Ah, situmii. Situmii simu ya. Situmii. Si na utaalamu na. Ndiyo, nitatumia. Nitaweza kutumia. They may see the, the disease symptoms or the pest symptoms, but they don't always necessarily associate what is causing that damage. So the idea here is to identify the pest and disease correctly, establish that the farmers know what, what is there, and then link them with the suppliers of pesticides so that the, the farmers can access the chemicals or the pesticides correctly. Uh, now, using pesticides is not necessarily the best way forward, but actually when used properly, they can actually be very beneficial and they don't necessarily need to be as damaging to the environment as what is commonly believed. If we can improve, even slightly, the productivity and the quality of vegetables here in Zanzibar, that will make a massive difference to the local community, both in terms of better income for the farmers, but also by making vegetables more available, most likely at lower cost to the consumers.